I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, here we have a system with the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G APU. And if we look in Task Manager and go to the GPU um, part of performance, you can see that currently we have just 512 megabytes of dedicated GPU memory available, which is not a lot. So, this we're going to go ahead and increase that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and restart the system and go into the UEFI. Okay, so now we're in the UEFI, and this is a uh, ASRock B550M-HTV motherboard. I think that's, yep. Yeah, B550M-HTV motherboard. If we go to Advanced, go in here to AMD CBS. Go down to N Bio Common Options. Go to GFX Configuration. And right here for iGPU configuration, you see it's set to auto. We need to set that to. We can try UMA specified. And you can see now we have UMA frame buffer size. Now we can set that to, let's say, 4G. So we'll set it to 4G and that will increase the amount of, of RAM available to the GPU. So we'll go and restart and we'll see exactly how much is available. Okay, so if we look in Task Manager and go to Performance and GPU. You can see we now have two gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory available. And that's what the buffer set to 4G. So if we, we restart and go back into setup, we'll increase it higher and see what we get. Again, go to Advanced, AMD CBS, in Bio Common Options, Graphics Configuration. You can see we're still set to UMA specified. So let's set that to 8G and let's go ahead and exit. Say change and exit. Okay, so we'll pull up Task Manager again. So we still have two gigs, so... Um, okay, let's see what happens when we set the uh, buffer to auto. Okay, now we have the buffer size set to auto. Let's go into Task Manager and let's look. <laughs> you can see we have just 16 megabytes, so we definitely do not want to set it to auto for sure. So we're going to restart. Yeah, 16 megabytes, that's pretty pathetic. That's like going back to, what, 2000, 2001? <laughs> I mean, graphics cards back in 2002, it was pretty typical for them to have like 32 megabytes of uh, RAM. So go back to advanced and AMD CBS. And bio common options, graphics configuration. So we do not want to set that to auto. 
let's instead this time set the um, UMA to auto. It was the whole thing was really originally set to auto to begin with. So we'll set it to auto and see what happens. Okay, so now let's see what we have. So we're back to 512 megabytes. So let's try the game optimize option. Set the game optimized. Leave that as is. Save and exit. Let it restart and we'll go check it again. Okay, now check it again. This is with the game optimized setting. And we're back to 2 gigabytes. So, so to wrap this up, it looks like um, what you can do is you can set that option to game optimize and that will increase the dedicated GPU memory from 512 megabytes to 2 gigabytes. So definitely a bit more breathing room for this uh, iGPU. So that could help you get some somewhat better performance out of the GPU if you're gaming with it or if you're also like me and use it for video editing. So anyways. Hopefully this is helpful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to QCure channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also I recommend following QCure Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.